demonstrate how copying keyframe attributes or title attributes can help you repeat a sequence without a lot of work. <coughs> Malik is real good about entering data rather than moving, uh, just moving the cursors around, and I have found that very helpful. Once I, co co I could have just go from fa uh, frame to frame and entered the keystrokes, but instead I can copy the attributes. <coughs> so first is a demonstration. This is a 16 by 9 format video that does a little sequence. It's five in the sequence. Upper left, bottom right, bottom left, upper right, and then the middle. And it repeats. Birthday, <coughs> happy birthday. It's your birthday. Happy birthday. It's your birthday. Happy birthday. It's a great day. So a lot of time went into developing the sequence, even down to the point that the candles blow out at the right point for the song. And that's great. And when you set up a sequence of, I do sequences of pictures inside videos for my family and for friends. And if you set up a pattern of three, five, ten fades and frames and everything, I wish you could copy frames. That would be, be even better. If anybody knows how, let me know. But when you do all the fades and the movements and the keyframing, and you get that sequence of three, five, ten, whatever, you can repeat it very easily using this step. In the demo I'm going to do, the extreme situation is I have a video, 16 by 9, and now I want to render it in 9 by 16. Well, if I just render it, it's going to be very small, sideways in the middle of the screen. If I want to take full availability uh, of this 9 by 16 format on those devices, uh, a lot of movement happens. So I'm going to just change the format here. Let Power Director do its magic. And it rearranged everything. And obviously my timeline looks the same. But now if I play the video, the pictures are the wrong size, the background is the wrong birthday. size, the titles are in the wrong places. It's your birthday. In fact, the titles are in the right places where they were, but they're in the wrong place for what has to happen. What further complicated this transition is that I did a one, two, three, four, or excuse me, one, two, three, four, five sequence. I number the pictures I'm inserting so I can replace them in order. Pictures that are named stay in my sequence. This is for a product I make. Now, you can see everything's out of sequence. So the first thing I got to do myself some room here on the editing thing and I've just got it I want to I want to take these first five so that's through here I want to take everything else and shove it out of my way if I did it right one two three four five one two three four five we're right oh by the way if you notice the backgrounds are the wrong pl wrong place so this first background I'm just going to expand and since the fade and everything on the next one is the same I, I right-clicked on it, copied the attributes, I right-click on the next one, and I paste the attributes. And you can see it changed size up here in the top right. So you can see here, I'm clicking to the middle of each of these, the backgrounds, all the wrong size. So all I need to do is change the first one, with a little click and drag, get it to the right size. I'm right-clicking on it, copying the attributes. I click left-clicked here. I'm hitting shift, left click here. I've captured all my backgrounds in between. I'm right clicking on the first one, pasting the attributes. And you can now see all my backgrounds have been changed to the right size. So now the big part, the tough part. These are all out of sequence. It's really not that difficult. Let me make this screen a little bigger up in the top. 
so you can see what's happening up there. So this first picture of this king, he's in the wrong place. I just have to click on him and position him where I want him and resize him. My frame's going to stay the same. I like to give everything a little soft edge. And by the way, I already know since I've done this conversion that I'm going from a left, upper left, lower right, lower right, upper left, middle sequence to an up, down, up, down sequence. So I need to move this one up here. And I do that for ease. I can leave it where it is, but it's to keep it in sequence. And then when I do that, I move its corresponding title up into the same space. So now I will make my screen a little bigger so you can see it up in the top what happens. Pictures are still all in the wrong place. This is my first picture. I'm clicking in the middle of the frame, by the way, so that I see the title. If I click at the beginning of the frame, hit home here, the title hasn't appeared yet. I want to get into the middle of the motion sequence, and that's just so I can see it. And I want to put, I want to make the picture of this king a little bigger. My frame stays the same. I like to feather my, my edges. And then I just got to come on down to his title. You have to double click on the title, because you have to do that in the pip editor. Titles, move it up, click OK. Now I'm going to do the next one. I'm going to do this picture. I'm going to center hit the bottom. I'm going to go down to his title right here, directly below his picture. And Mr. Erlanger's picture, I've now centered his thing. I want to make it a little wider or whatever I want to do. I want to get them all the same. I didn't do that. I changed the, in the formatting. I made them bigger so they're easier to read on a phone. Now I'm done. The hard work anyway. So now you will see. Let's look at the third one in the sequence. George Reed, Superman. He's down the bottom and he's small and I want him up there. But just by right clicking on the first picture, copy keyframes, right click on Superman, paste the keyframes, he jumped into the right place. Click in the middle of the frame again. So you can see Jane Wyman is in the wrong place. First wife of President Reagan, copy the keyframe, go back to her, right click, paste that keyframe, and she goes to the right place. My silhouette, which was dead center, now needs to become a number one, so I'm copying the first frame again, and when I right click and paste it on there, it moves to the top. Now I can do the same thing with the sequence of the titles. So first two titles I've corrected. So this first, this, the first title, I can copy the title attributes, and it's going to go on three and five, because those are both in the same place now. Um, I'm sorry, I moved too quickly there. So three, I clicked, now I'm control clicking, so I capture the both, right click, and I paste the title attributes, and both titles have now moved to the right place. Same thing here, if you see, the title here is, oh, Mr. Erlanger, we fixed him earlier. I am now copying his title attributes, so you can see it snap. Jane Wyman's a little off. It's a comment on her title, not on her personality. She was a great actress. And when I hit Pace Attributes, it snapped it to the colors and matching sequence that I wanted. So now that sequence... Day. Happy birthday. It's your birthday. So that's good. But now I have, there are 24 pictures in this sequence. I have another one that has 66, and I have to convert from one format to another. These silhouettes stay, don't get replaced. Well, now the one, two, three, four becoming one, two, three, four, five, the variation on that going forward would drive you crazy. And you'd have to edit all 24 pictures, 26 pictures individually in titles, and that would take a while. But instead, now that I've set my sequence, I just move this one down, this one up. Sorry, I should have done his title at the same time title and title. 
So now one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Bring Robert Duval down here. I just gotta watch when my overwrite. And then I bring Robert Duval's title down here. And now I've got so now if you watch here in the top again. It's your birthday. Happy. But since this picture is the same as two to the other side of it, I'm sorry, one, two, three, four, one, two. This is a two. Copy the keyframe, right click on it, paste the keyframe, it moved into this place. All right, right click down here on its title, copy its attributes. Right click down here and paste the title attributes. And they snap right in place. I want Superman's attributes to go with Vice President Mondale's picture. Snaps it in. I want his title attributes. And I'm sorry, I'm not going by the numbers. I think you guys know I'm right clicking and left clicking. Uh, I really respect, I love that Malik does that in his, but. I'm, on, I'm under the weather here right now and trying to get it done. So now when I right click on Mondale's title, I want to do something here, I'm going to click up the top so you can see it. There's Mondale and there's his title. And so when I right click and I paste the ad attribute from the other one, boom, it's in the right place. The color changed, the font changed, everything. So now, going back to the beginning. Happy birthday. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. It's your birthday. Happy birthday. So, I didn't do Robert Duval yet. So, it's now just a simple matter that I have a one, two, and now we've got eight. So, I'll, I'll do Robert Duval real quickly so that we're proper. By the way, when you copy, when you right click, you can go into edit clip frame and get to copy attributes, but they're up here by themselves in this same menu, but they both do the same thing, obviously. And you can look at the clip, clip attributes. And I also want to note the fades, uh, any keyframing, if these were made to move, if I had these fading in from, opac from the low opacity or sliding in from the right to left or whatever, any sequence you set up, you can then copy forward. So um, I was copying Jane Wyman's attributes over to the great Robert Duval. I love the smell of napalm in the morning. One of the greatest lines and scenes in movie history. Uh, I'm going to copy the attributes of Jane's title and put it on Mr. Duval's title. And now, if you see, if I click in the middle of the frame, it's in the right place. So now I'll finish this and speed it up for you guys to watch so we can get to the end. So at this point, I've done all the sequencing, I'm rearranging, and what I can now do is, this is one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one. So this is a number one. And I can just copy the keyframe attributes here and go from, I am I hit click there, and I'm shift click here, and all those pictures go to the right spot. I can go here to number two. I can right click, copy the keyframes, and go all the, to all the pictures that are in the number two position. Then I right click, paste the keyframe. You cannot do that with the titles unless you don't care about the colors. And my point here is that if you look at each of the colors in the sequencing, it differs. It differs. So what I need to do is I need to pick number one, and now I'm thinking of these as one, two, three, four, because one is, as you can see, is blue and pink, number two is orange and green, number three is blue and pink, and number four is orange and green. So I 
I had it different earlier, but so I can do the same in this case. I can just right click, copy the title attribute here, and put it on all of them. They're now all in the right place. The point I was making before, I had a color sequencing one, two, three, four. So I would have clicked this one and then clicked every other one to add it and then come back and done the even numbered ones. So here, for the speed of this as a tutorial, I'm just going to copy it, paste it, and we'll make the screen bigger so you can see it. And now you can see. Happy birthday, it's your birthday, happy birthday, it's your birthday, happy birthday. I will play the whole video in 16 by 9 at the end. I wouldn't mind some comments on what you think of the product. But... At this point, all I have to do is worry about my uh, my me social media likes and things. I have, those are in the middle of the screen, and they um, they may overwrite some pictures, so I need to adjust some sizes. But I'm trying to get down here to the bottom. Those are, you know, just five different elements. I can fix the sizing on them and then copy and paste them to the second half of the video because they just repeat. <coughs> As does my watermark. I hope I got all the coughs out of this by the time I'm done. Um, anyway, that's how you can use copy keyframe attributes, copy and paste keyframe attributes, as well as copy and paste title attributes to do a sequence or to help re change a sequence when you switch formats and everything needs to go in a different place. Still Murph, out. It's your birthday. Happy birthday, it's your birthday, happy birthday, it's a great day, that's what we say, happy birthday. It's your birthday, happy birthday, it's your birthday, happy birthday, it's a great day, that's what we say, happy birthday. Happy birthday, it's your birthday, happy birthday, it's a great day, that's what we say, happy birthday.